Okay, making a rocket. Handmade rockets are a pretty easy thing to make. What we start with is a dowel rod. This is a one inch dowel rod and regular eight and a half by 11 computer paper. It's just some white glue, exacto knife, some gum tape. Start by putting, wrapping the paper in a landscape position around the dowel and get it tucked under well. To make the engine holder for your rocket, what I start with is these body tubes, these donuts, these little spacer rings, they're called, we call them donuts, and metal clips, and they look, I, I put them out and put them in a tray, put them here, here, a metal clip, and I use the bandsaw to cut the body tube down to size. I just set a little stop up on there. So I've got this. Take the body, take the engine tube and run your fingernail around it like this. Do the same thing with the spacer rings because the inside diameter of the spacer rings is about the same as the outside diameter on this piece of body tube. Um, all of these parts we order from Pitsco, P-I-T-S-C-O, and they're in located in Kansas, in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and this is where I buy these parts from. They're not very expensive. Okay, the body tube. You use this metal clip, and the metal clip is used to hold the engine in. By the way, these are the rocket engines here, and they're about the same size, so they fit into the body tube. You put the metal clip over it so that the curved part faces in, and this takes a little practice to get the spacer tube, the spacer ring over the body tube, but if you're careful it works pretty easily. Now the way I do it, and that I have my students do it, is to put the, both rings in the middle, and then we start here and put a little bit of Elmer's glue uh, up near the end, wipe it around with your finger, then bring this spacer ring up, twisting it so that it gets a good seal, and you want to bring it almost up to the end. Now the other one, you want it about a third of the way up. I'll put a little more glue, smear it around here, and then I twist it up like this. You don't want to go much further than this, because if you do, this is what holds the engine in. If you do, once it's in the rocket, you won't be able to get the engine in and out. There you have that is the engine mount that is ready for our airframe. After that's done, you take the bottom of the airframe and what you want to do is you want to carefully fit this up into the rocket engine, up into the, sorry, the body tube there. I'm going to put some glue around the outside of the spacer rings. You always want to have a good collection of glue on hand because you go through some glue in tech ed. This is a favorite activity that we do with our sixth grade students. Glue around here. Then this is put up into the body tube, which is now called the airframe. And then if you just hold this for a few seconds, set it, you now have your airframe with your body tube in it.